In this tutorial, I'm going to show how to add a new library to the uh, TinyCAD schematic capture tool um, for you to add your own either primitive dynamic components or for you to add your own touchstone components. So I'm going to um, be working with this string line model. It's a, actually a mechanical model for a piece of string, how the energy uh, rattles around on it. So I've created this, uh, stuck it under simple transmission lines. Um, so there I have it defined. And so I'm going to click on the library button and add a new library. And it doesn't really matter where I put it. Um, so I'm just going to make this my um, mechanical PC live. So if I click on this, uh, I can create a new symbol, uh, edit uh, old symbols, but uh, I'm going to make my life a little bit easier. I'm going to start with a simple transmission line. that was actually defined for uh, a piece of um, lossless transmission line. I'm going to make the modifications, so that's the proper file name. Uh, I'm going to peek at what my arguments were. I have tension, mass, length, and attenua attenuation. Now, the attenuation, I happen to know uh, positive numbers mean attenuation. Negative numbers would actually provide gain. So I'm going to put a little bit of attenuation value on here just to help me remember that uh, in the future. Uh, let me rename this. Store it. So now, if I go to my mechanical model, I have copied that in there. And that way I don't have to worry about editing and creating a new symbol. Uh, and my symbol property is already defined for me. So now I can select the mechanical model and place my string.